Balak, the king of the Moabites, afraid of the approaching Israelites, hires Balaam, a local prophet, non-Jew. Go curse the Jews, their threat. So Balaam saddles his donkey to ride up to the place where he can look down upon the Israelites and curse them. But as he travels, something gets in the way. God has sent an angel with a sword to stand in the path. And while Balaam doesn't see it, the donkey does, and the donkey turns to the side. Balaam is incensed. He whips the donkey to get it back on the path. The donkey again swerves, trying to avoid the angel with the sword. Balaam again whips it. The donkey gives up, lays down in the middle of the road, and Balaam continues to strike it and whip it and beat it. And God opens the mouth of the donkey and says, Balaam, why aren't you seeing what I'm seeing? God has sent an angel to stand in our way, and you don't see it, and I do. God doesn't want you to do this. We're not looking really at two different beings here, Balaam and his donkey. We're looking at one being. We're looking at the intellect and the gut. We can convince ourselves that the path that we're on is the right path, and we're doing something that's the right thing when in fact it's not, and we're not able to see it. And the only thing that communicates with us and tells us that what we're doing is wrong is our gut. The question is, how far do each of us have to go before we listen to our gut, before we listen to the part of our character, the ethical part of us that is within our limbs, within our our legs, even within our ass?